in anticipation of the upcoming rerun and by-elections. Stakeholders are preferring suggestions aimed at helping Nigeria's electoral body, the Independent National Electoral Commission, regain public trust. Trust TV's Sagid Ibrahim explores the recommendations in a future report engaging with stakeholders ahead of the February 3rd rerun and by-election scheduled to fill vacant elective positions across states and federal constituencies. His report. According to a survey by the Afrobarometer team in Nigeria, led by Noipols in 2022, only 23% of Nigerians say they trust the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, somewhat or a lot, while more than three-fourths, that is 78%, express just a little or no trust at all in the election management body. The report also found that trust in the INEC has declined by 12 percentage points since 2017. On the 2023 general elections, the European Union observer said in its final report that Nigeria's general elections was marred by problems that reduce public trust in electoral processes. It added that reforms to enhance transparency and accountability are needed. Ahead of the forthcoming rerun and by-elections on February the 3rd, stakeholders are keen on seeing Nigeria's electoral umpire, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, improve on some of its processes to boost public trust while delivering its responsibilities. To achieve this, Executive Director of the International Press Center, Lanri Arugundade, feels that political parties should be held more accountable. He explains that political parties and security agents are election stakeholders whose activities could impact the quality and outcome of the election process, hence the need to hold them accountable for their actions. I feel that we, we really don't hold the political parties accountable enough. Every circle of election, they go to sign you know, peace accord. And then we know that before elections, you have incidents of violence traceable to some of these political parties. That would also be something that the police can also use to say, look, you are part of this. Your members have done this. How can we hold them you know, responsible? That's one. Then the law enforcement and security agencies. I was an election observer in, in Liberia. They don't even have enough policemen. The culture there is not for political parties to encourage thoughts to go and hijack ballot papers and so on. It didn't happen. In another response, Jide Ojo, a political analyst wants INEC to be more proactive, especially with regards to crisis communication. INEC should be able to um, uh, ensure effective communication with the public. Have a robust, robust uh, citizen contact center where people can get authentic information about whatever is happening. And there should be no secret cow within the commission. When any of your staff is deemed to have done wrong, Ensure that they are properly handed over to security agents for investigation and possible prosecution. Political elites and their activities are largely responsible for the trust deficit that plagues INEC, Jide Ojo says. Uh, I put the bulk of the blame on the political elites, the political class who will stop at nothing, who organize, uh, who uh, believes in using the Machiavellian principle of the end justifies the means as basis for electoral victory. And that is what has created this, um, this doubt, this cloud of doubt and trust, uh, uh, trust deficit in our system. Speaking at a roundtable on re-examining the role of critical stakeholders in rebuilding trust in the electoral process, the Director of Voter Education and Publicity, Marion Kem, gave updates on infractions committed during the 2023 election. Your 19 case files were prepared for the commission and filed for various jurisdictions of courts in Nigeria. It is worthy to know that out of this, three out of these 19 case files have been concluded and convictions secured against them. So the commission is working, but we do not work alone. We work harmoniously with other organizations. And we should work together, play a role that will enable us to have the kind of election that we want to have. The electoral umpire is expected to conduct by-elections resulting from the resignation or death of members of the national and state houses of assembly. The vacancies occurred across two senatorial districts, four federal constituencies and three state constituencies spanning nine states of the federation. The commission is also conducting rerun elections in 35 constituencies as directed by various election petition appeals tribunal. Sagir Ibrahim, 
Trust TV News, Abuja.